Prava High. It's been, it is such a great experience, a real life opportunity for me, and I think I'm speaking for all the girls in the Prava High team. Um, and obviously, it's a great dance experience, but also working with um, Shiji Sir is just also teaching us a way of life. So it's it's been a really moving human experience as well. Um, I was really moved by how much love she did, sir, and all of us put in our dance and so in each other to make this an unforgettable experience. Um, also, the theme of Pravaha is really dear to me. Um, so I'm an environment scientist, so understanding and protecting the environment is really what I do. And having the chance to pass this message on through art and dance is is really a great a great opportunity too. I'd also like you to say a little about your uh, dance journey so far. Okay, so I've been dancing since I was like three years old, um, various Western dance, contemporary dance. And when I was in, studying in Paris, I saw two shows, one from Priyadarshini Govin and one from Malavika Sarukai, and I was just blown away. I want to do this. <laughs> and so I started learning Bharatanatyam in Paris. And then I had the, the opportunity to do some research projects in India. So I continued learning there, the Kalakshitra style. And then wherever I was going for study or work, I always pursued uh, dance. So it's been now uh, ten, 10 years. Is this your first major production? It is, definitely. At this scale and this quality of work, it, it is my first big production. And because of the way I was learning different cities, different gurus before, I only had a chance to do solo performances. This is my really first big group work and it's, it makes such a difference. The energy is, is really, yeah, it's really different from a solo just all binds us together. It's a really vibrant energy within the group, so it's brilliant. What is it like to be the only non-Indian in the production? Is it any uh, different or uh, do you just uh, feel like, uh, I mean, y you're just one of the dancers. Being a non-Indian does not matter. It, it doesn't matter most of the time. I think the, the main thing, it was not about the origin, it was more that I was new to CFAS and all the girls knew each other, so there was a little bit of time, but they all been so welcoming and they were all so warm. And so, no, not much, no difference really. And maybe because I've, I'm married to an Indian, I'm really used to the Indian culture, I'm completely merged into it, so I myself don't feel the difference, maybe that's why it doesn't matter really. The only thing is sometimes my Western classical training comes back, especially in such a challenging choreography as she did so, so I do have to watch that a little bit, but that's all. Thank you very much. We are looking forward to the production Thank as you. much as you are. Thank you.